What is going on YouTube Everything Epan here and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 8 or 8.1 in VirtualBox. Now in my tutorial I'm going to do 8.1 and this is completely free, legal, from uh, the ISO is directly from Microsoft. Um, so let's just get right into the tutorial. As I say in all the beginning of my videos, if you do not have the latest version of VirtualBox you need to get it. Do not get the, if you have Windows 10, um, don't get the do not get the uh, 5.0 version because it has a lot of bugs. So I just do the uh, uh, for this version right here. But you have to go to the older versions, which is it's down here somewhere. VirtualBox older builds. And then once you get that installed and everything, if you do not have an ISO of Windows 8, you um, need to get it. If you already have one, great. But this one, like if you guys do not have one. You need to go to the link in the description, and it says Create Installation Media for Windows 8.1, and you can see this is the Microsoft official website. Um, and then what you do is you just scroll down to this Create Media button. You just hit that. It'll download a uh, little thing here. You just want to open that. It'll give you a user account control window. I don't know if you see it, but if it, you don't, just hit Yes. and then this window will pop up you do select your language so mine is English United States and then select your edition mine I'm gonna do the pro edition you can do the home edition you can do any of these other ones as well but I'll just do pro and then you can either do 32-bit or 64-bit in my case I'm gonna do 64-bit Then you hit next and then right here this is where you can choose to either burn it to a flash drive or you can create an ISO so that's what I'm going to do. That is what you want to do. And then you hit next. And then you're going to have to save it to a specified location. So I'm going to have to go all the way into here. I'm going to call this Windows 8.1 Pro 64-bit and then save and then it's going to download the installation file which can take some time because this is uh... it requires four gigs of space on your computer um, but i'm not going to do that obviously because i already have a iso so what you want to do once you finish downloading that uh... iso you need to create a new virtual machine and i'm going to call it obviously windows eight point one and then it's already got it selected here. Just hit next. Uh, I'm going to leave it at 2 gigs of RAM. Then you create a virtual hard drive. I'm just going to leave it at the default of 25 gigs. And then what you're going to want to do is hit settings, hit storage, and then insert the disk or ISO. Obviously, my yours is not going to be an all-in-one edition, but so then you're going to start the machine after you have your ISO in. And you'll get the normal uh, Windows 8 uh, loading screen here. And then once this pretty much gets done, you'll get to the uh, setup screen. Normally, as you would see, it's basically the same kind of thing as my Windows 10 tutorial. And this video was highly requested by a lot of my viewers. They're like, oh, can you do a Windows 8 tutorial video? Well, I've finally done that for you guys. Sorry about all the uh, slacking on some of the videos uh, that you guys have requested. So you're just going to have to let this sit because it's obviously going to take longer than it would on your normal computer. You're just going to have to let it sit till it gets to the low, um, setup screen. So I'm going to pause this for you guys. As you see, there's a circle. Pause this for you guys and be back. And never mind. <laughs> I always do that. So you'll get to the Windows 8 setup screen. And then you will need to select your language and keyboard method. Mine's already selected to what I need. Just hit next and install now. It's gonna setup is starting. And it's gonna ask you for a product key. You can uh you can hit next. Actually, 
for this all-in-one version you do need a uh, product key so I am going to have to go look for it if you do not have a product key um, you can pretty much there's links there's pretty much everywhere in the description there's product keys and all that good stuff so we're just gonna type in one of these versions here so you actually do need somewhat of a product key even if it's not an activated one so I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in for you guys and I'll continue with the setup okay so I have my product key entered in and it is na it is not uh, a activated product key this is just one to get you by the uh, product key screen you will not be activated you'll have 30 days to activate it but um, mine is the Pro with Media Center edition. More than likely, yours was either yours is either going to be the Core edition, which will just say Windows 8.1, or it'll say Windows 8.1 Pro. So just accept the license and terms agreement and hit Next. Then do a custom installation, and then just make sure your drive is selected there and hit Next. And then you're going to be going through the basic Windows 8 uh, setup of installing Windows and now it's going to get ready, files ready for installation. This is the one that takes time. So I'm going to let this uh, sit. I'm going to pause the video for you guys and I'll be back with you once we hit our first restart point. Okay, so we've hit our first restart point, so we're going to go ahead and do that now, obviously. And then once the press any key comes up, do not do it. Because you'll just keep going through a loop, as I say all the time. So I'm just going to eject that so I don't do that. So you'll get the loading screen again. Hopefully I don't. <clears throat> you'll get the loading screen again and it's pretty much going to go pretty much from where it last left off. So I'll be back with you guys once we hit a screen. Okay, so it's actually during that part where it loads, excuse me, where it loads, it's going to say getting devices ready and then it's going to say getting ready. And it's actually going to reboot your virtual machine again and then you're going to get to this loading screen once again and then we should hopefully get to the point where we get to the setup yep let's go through a few basics so you're going to choose a color I'm going to choose I'm going to choose this blue right here I'll name it windows you can't put spaces windows hyphen 8 we'll just do windows hyphen 8 or no, we'll just do that. It doesn't really matter. And then I hit next. I'm going to use the express settings. It's going to check for my internet connection. In which it should have internet on here. Because this virtual machine is sharing my connection. Now it's going to tell me to set up my account. Now I'm going to create a local account, but you can put your Microsoft account on here if you would like but I'm not going to obviously because this is just a virtual machine and I'm not going to really be I'm not going to even use it so this is obviously this um, will take longer because it only has two gigs of RAM and my computer would be a lot faster than this because it has eight gigs of RAM so it should ask you for an email and password once this uh, little loading screen. Yep, it'll ask you to sign in your Microsoft account here. I don't think you can skip this. So you do, I guess you do actually have to enter in your Microsoft account. You can't skip it, so uh, I'm going to enter that in real quick for you guys. So yes, I actually did have to enter in my uh, Microsoft account info, so now it's setting up my accounts, finalizing my settings. So you cannot create a local account right off the bat, so you will have to have a Microsoft account to do this, obviously. But I'm not sure I'm not sure about the regular Windows 8 version if you can do that, but I guess just not on the 8.1 version, you cannot have a local account right away. I'm sure you can go to your settings and change so that it does that. So It'll do this familiar um, colored screen where it's going to install your apps and finalize settings and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be back with you guys once we hit the uh, Let's Start screen. There you see Let's Start. 
That actually took a long time. Not even joking. That It literally went from, what was it, like, taking care of a few things, getting your apps ready, then it said almost ready, and that almost ready screen was up there for like five minutes, I guarantee it. So you get to the Windows 8 start screen, and then you got Windows 8.1 on your uh, com uh, virtual machine. So that is how to install Windows 8.1 slash Windows 8 or 8.1. I'm just going to put Windows 8.1. Uh, that's how to install it in VirtualBox. Um, stay tuned on my channel for more tutorials. If this video helped you out, definitely make sure to like the video and share it so that it helps out other people. And, <clears throat> and also um, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and also comment below if you have any suggested tutorials. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.